good evening both of you good evening sonam and uh, aryan aryan you are yet to put your attendance in the chat box Aryan, are you there? Are you putting your attendance in the chat box? Yeah. What is LDH? Is it Ludhiana? Or is it Ladakh? anyways okay so students i would request both of you to you know please be uh, attentive in the class when i ask any questions please use the chat box to uh, reply to my questions okay so this way you know yeah thank you okay thank you for your confirmation so i don't know whether you were there in the last class or not but uh, we were learning gravitation chapter and we have seen you know uh, most of the portion from this chapter and our next topic from this chapter is uh, mass okay so we have learned in the previous chapter that the mass of an object is measure of its inertia so you might have learned your uh, ninth chapter in your school or maybe uh, you have read by yourself right but we haven't take it in the took it in the class but you you know what is mass or what is inertia right so we have also learned that greater the mass, the greater is inertia. So it's remain it remains the same whether the object is on Earth or is it it is on Moon or even in the outer space. Thus, the mass of an object is constant and does not change from place to place. Right. So all of us knows that mass of an object is constant everywhere in the universe. Right, you can go anywhere, be it on Earth or Moon or outer space or any other planet. Mass will be same, right? So the next concept that we are talking about is weight. We know that the Earth attracts every object with a certain force, and this force de depends on the mass of the object and the acceleration due to gravity. The weight of an object is the force with which it is attracted towards earth and the formula for weight or formula for that force that we are talking about will be f is equals to m into a or mass into acceleration or we can replace the acceleration with gravi gravi uh, acceleration due to gravity that is a small g right so the formula for weight is going to be w is equals to m into g m is the mass of the object for which we, we are calculating weight and g is acceleration due to gravity now what is value of g students what is value of small g on earth do we have formula for it Yes, no. Yeah, 9.8 meters per square. Correct. That is value of G. We do have formula for it as well. We, uh, I think we have learned that in the last class. Right. Okay. So, as the weight of an object is the force with which it is attracted towards the Earth, the SI unit of weight is the same as the force and that is newton right so jab, jab weight ki baat karte hai, we talk about kgs grams right but the actual scientific unit of the weight is not kg or grams it is newton weight is nothing but the force right yeah so we have learned that the value of g is constant at a given place therefore at a given place the weight of an object is directly proportional to the mass say m of the object that is w it is due to that is w is directly proportional to mass here it should be written as like this 
right directly proportional to the Fibonacci. So it is due to the reason that at a given place we can use the weight of an object as a measure of its mass. The mass of an object remains the same everywhere. That is on the Earth and on any planet, whereas its weight depends on its location. So what we can take away? Jo mass hota hai, that is same everywhere. The one the, the student who has joined late has to put the attendance. The student who has joined with the name Sharanjit Kaur, please put your chat attendance in the chat box. So follow this as a protocol. Okay. The first thing is you have to be on time. Right? The message is put on the group well in advance. Aapko advance mein hi message dal diya jata hai, right? If you so you put the alarm 655 alarm lagado, right isn't it a good practice to you know be on time and follow the protocols yeah so join on time and uh, whenever you enter in the class and if the recording is on so it is your first you know duty to have your attendance in the chat box yeah okay that is fine i can understand right but if you are you know you must have tried to join on six, uh, 657 or 658. Try to join at 650 or 655. Five minutes join join. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's not waste our time on talking unnecessary things. So, Sharanjit, uh, please put your in attendance in the chat box. Please put your name in the chat box so that I can, you know, uh, call you with your name and not your possibly father's or mother's name. Okay. So weight of an object on the moon. Now we know what is our weight on the earth. Now how we can calculate our weight on moon? Let us suppose we get a chance to go on moon and will the okay. So the question, my question here is whether our weight will be same or different on moon. I'm talking about weight. Yeah, it will be different, right? That is what we have just learned. Ki mass jo hai, that is going to be same, but weight is going to be different on the different places. So in the same way, the weight of an object on the moon is the force with which the moon attracts that object. So our weight will be m into g, but the value of g will not be 9.8. It will be something different. The value of g is going to be attraction due to moon's gravity. Right. Agar hum moon pe weight measure kar rahe so. so due to this, the moon exerts lesser force of, of attraction on the object. So as compared to Earth, moon is, you know, small body or it is, uh, it is, you know, it is less denser or it, it weights less, right? Its mass is less. So let the mass of an object be M. Let its weight on moon be W M. Let the mass of the moon be capital M M and its radius be R. So by applying the universal law of gravitation, the weight of an object on the moon will be W M is equal to G into capital M into small M divided by uh, R square capital R square M. So here the capital M, the capital R, the capital W, hai, that is all for moon. G, jo hai, G is universal gravitation constant. Right, its value will be uh, different or same everywhere. Matlab, agar hum capital G ki baat kare, so will it be same or different? And what it what it will be? What will be for Earth? What will be for Moon? What will be for Jupiter? Value of capital G. It's going to be same. Correct, Sonam. Right. What is value of capital G? Correct the Banshu. Yeah. What will be the value? Is it eleven point something? Right? Or six point six seven three? What is value of capital G?
don't you remember yeah 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 perfect very good right so if we had to uh, you know find out the relation between uh, weight of the weight of an object on earth and weight of an object on moon so this is what relation we will get the weight of the object on the moon to the weight of the object on earth is going to be one sixth matlab if let us suppose my weight is 60 kgs then <clears throat> see again i'm talking about uh, talking in kgs okay because we are used to do that but weight is not measured in kgs it's its unit is newton right but for our convenience i'm taking uh, the unit as kgs right so if my weight is 60 kg on earth my weight on moon will be how much how much it will be 10 kgs yeah correct right so this is what the activity is about now mass of an object is 10 kg what is its weight on the earth so if 10 kg ka 10 kg mass ka object hai, so what will be its weight to weight nikal ke liye karna hai? mass into g mass is 10 kg and value of small g is 9.8 meter per uh, uh, square right so it will be 98 newton what will be the weight weight will be 98 newton similarly you can you know find uh, if let us suppose your uh, weight is 10 newton then what will be the mass what will be the uh, weight on moon like these dif different kinds of calculations you can do the next uh, concept that we are going to learn is thrust and pressure. Have you ever wondered why a camel can run in a desert easily? Why an army tank weighing more than a thousand ton rests upon the continuous chain? Why a truck or motor bus has much wider tires? Why cutting tools have sharp edges? In order to address these questions and understand the phenomena involved, it helps to introduce the concepts of the net force in the perpendicular direction which is also called as thrust and the force per unit area which is called as pressure acting on the objects concerned so to understand this we have uh, a few situations over here right so you have to you know uh, fix a poster on the bulletin board so what you will do is you will uh, hold the poster like this and uh, the, the way the this boy is holding it right and you will press the pins like this see you are pressing the pin with your thumb so what will happen the pin will pass through the board and it will you know hold the poster like that so what does that means we are actually applying some pressure or some force on the surface area of this uh, pin right so this force acts on a smaller area at the tip of the pin Matlab, jo bhi force hum apply kar rahe hai on the surface of this pin it is applying or it is getting you know applied on the tip of that pin so that is why the pin goes in situation two second situation when uh you you stand on a loose sand you your feet go deep in the sand now lie down on the sand you will find that your body will not go that deep in the sand in both cases the force exerts on the sand is the weight of your body right so this is very simple experiment matlab agar aap ek loose sand ka jo rehta na jab bhi you might have gone to beaches or agar aap agar aapne dekha hoga ki ret ke teele rehte hai so if you uh, go walk on them aapke jo pair hai wo usme dhas jayenge but if you lie down on that matlab agar aap us pe sote ho so aap, jitne aapke pair hai, like let us suppose aapke pair ek foot under chile gaye, right one feet so if you lie down lie, lie down it is not possible ki aap ek fit under jau. Aap thoda sa hi under jau. Okay, why does this happen so to understand this here is the explanation now you have learned that weight is the force acting vertically downwards here the force is acting perpendicular to the surface of the sand the force acting on an object perpendicular to the surface is called as thrust okay when you stand 
on loose sand this force that is the body of weight of your body is acting an equal area of your feet matlab aapka jo feet ka area that that is touching to the sand utne area pe hi wo jo force hai wo apply ho raha hai when you lie down the same force acts on an area equal to the contact area of your whole body मतलब सेम फोर जो है वो ज्यादा सरफेस एरिया पर अप्लाई हो रहा है विच इज लार्जर देन द एरिया ऑफ योर फिट ऑब्वियसली अगर आप खड़े रहते हो और आप सोते हो सो देर विल बी डिफरेंस इन द एरिया विच इज टचिंग टू द ग्राउंड और द अर्थ राइट सो इन द अब केसेस थ्रस्ट इज द सेम बट इफेक्ट आर डिफरेंट देर फोर द इफेक्ट ऑफ थ्रस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन द एरिया ऑन विच इट सेट्स ठीक है थ्रस्ट सेम है लेकिन द सरफेस एरिया इज चेंजिंग सो दैट्स व्हाई उसका जो इफेक्ट है थर्स्ट का जो इफेक्ट है थ्रस्ट का जो इफेक्ट है दैट विल बी डिफरेंट द इफेक्ट ऑफ थ्रस्ट ऑन द सैंड इज लार्जर वाइल स्टैंडिंग देन वाइल लाइंग द थ्रस्ट ऑन द यूनिट एरिया इज कॉल्ड प्रेशर सो द फॉर्मूला फॉर प्रेशर इज थ्रस्ट पर एरिया नो वट इज थ्रस्ट सो I'm, I'm i'm talking about thrust 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 but thrust is nothing but weight or it is nothing but force in a certain direction okay thrust is nothing but weight or force in a certain direction which is also given here so the we get si unit of pressure as newton per meter square ab hi yahan pe thrust ka jo unit hai newton hai which is nothing but the unit of weight right which is also unit of force so and area का जो यूनिट है वो मीटर मीटर स्क्वायर राइट सो द प्रेशर इज इक्वल्स टू थ्रस्ट बाय एरिया एंड इट्स यूनिट इज न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर इन ऑनर ऑफ साइंटिस्ट ब्लेस पास्कल द ऐसा यूनिट ऑफ प्रेशर इज कॉल्ड पास्कल एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाय पी ए तो प्रेशर का यूनिट भले ही न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर है बट यूजुअली इन जनरल द यूनिट ऑफ प्रेशर इज गोइंग टू बी पास्कल और पी ए ओके सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस मतलब एक्जैक्टली हो क्या रहा है यू हैव वन मोर एग्जांपल हियर सी दिस इज सेम वुडन ब्लॉक ये भी वुडन ब्लॉक सेम ही है ये भी वुडन ब्लॉक सेम ही है ओनली द थिंग इज इट्स पोजीशन मतलब उसको रखा कैसे गया है राइट इट इज वर्टिकल हियर एंड इट इज हॉरिजॉन्टल तो इसकी वजह से नो व्हाट इज क्वेश्चन सी अ ब्लॉक ऑफ वुड इज केप्ड ऑन अ टेबल टॉप the mass of wooden block is 5 kg and its dimensions are 40 cm into 20 cm into 10 cm find the pressure exerted on the wood wooden block by the table if it is made to lie down on the table top with its sides of dimension this and this so before we get into this question i want to just ask all of you do you have any question in pressure thrust force weight mass are these concepts clear to you any doubts in this you know what we are calculating now hum ab jo calculate karne ja rahe hain wo kya calculate karne ja rahe hain any questions am i going too fast yeah it's clear right everyone i see there are four students over here so yeah i want four yes one two three and the fourth one okay clear and please let me know if i'm going too fast i don't think i'm going too fast but if you feel so please let me know that okay so what is solution now the mass of the wooden block is 5 kg and the dimensions are given here please be uh, please keep in mind that mass is given not the weight okay so we have to calculate its weight or the thrust agar humko pressure calculate karna hai pressure because of that wooden block agar hum usko vertical rakhte hain ya fir horizontal horizontal rakhte hain so uske wajah se jo pressure pad raha hai so if we have to calculate that in that case we need thrust which means we need weight which means we need what force right these three terms can be used as uh, interchangeably right so 
थर्स्ट कैसे कैलकुलेट करेंगे हम एफ फिजिकल्स टू एम एंड टू जी सो फाइव के जी इज मास जी की वैल्यू हमें यहाँ पे नहीं दी गई है बट वी आर कंसिडरिंग दिस इज ऑन अर्थ दिस इज हैपनिंग ऑन अर्थ इज इट गिवन या टेबल टॉप टेबल तो मोस्टली आई डोंट थिंक कि और किसी प्लेनेट पे फिलहाल है राइट दिस ओनली वन प्लेनेट वेयर द टेबल कैन बी फॉर्म ओके सो वी आर कंसिडरिंग दिस इज अर्थ तो यहाँ पे जी की वैल्यू हम लेकिन नाइन पॉइंट एट मीटर पर स्क्वायर मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर राइट सो द थ्रस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी फोर्टी नाइन न्यूटन और न्यूटन सो एरिया ऑफ द साइड अभी एरिया हम पहले किस चीज का निकाल रहे हैं फॉर दिस वन ए के लिए ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर इंटू टेन सेंटीमीटर मतलब पहले हमने ये वाला जो सरफेस है वो नीचे रखा है ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर इंटू टेन सेंटीमीटर का मतलब जो एरिया रहेगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर और जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू मीटर स्क्वेयर राइट अगर हम यहाँ पे न्यूटन में लिख रहे हैं सो वी हैव टू राइट इट इन द जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू मीटर स्क्वायर हम यहाँ पे सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर में नहीं लिख सकते ओके सो दैट्स वाई वी हैव कन्वर्टेड इन टू मीटर स्क्वायर सो प्रेशर इज गोइंग टू बी टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर राइट दिस इज द प्रेशर वेन वी कीप दिस ब्लॉक लाइक दिस नाउ वेन वी कीप द ब्लॉक लाइक दिस जब उसका सरफेस एरिया विच इज टचिंग विद द टेबल टॉप इज ग्रेटर इन दैट केस द प्रेशर इज गोइंग टू बी लेस सी द एरिया विच इज टचिंग द टेबल इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर इन टू फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट मीटर स्क्वेयर ये हुआ एरिया एंड द थ्रस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी सेम राइट थ्रस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी सेम and the denominator is going to be 0.08 meter square which is 612.5 newton per meter square will be the pressure exerted by that block when kept horizontally or in this position so you can clearly see this pressure is more than this one this is 2450 this is 612 which is four times less almost four times less theek hai So, यहाँ पे एरिया जो था वो भी फोर टाइम्स लेस ही है यहाँ पे जो एरिया आप देखोगे इट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू स्क्वेर मीटर स्क्वेयर यहाँ पे जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट मीटर स्क्वेयर है विच मीन्स जो एरिया था विच वॉज वन फोर्थ हिंस द प्रेशर वॉज फोर टाइम्स राइट दस द सेम फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन अ स्मॉलर एरिया एक्सर्ट लार्जर प्रेशर मतलब सेम फोर्स अगर हम एक स्मॉलर एरिया पे एक्सर्ट करते हैं सो इट यू नो इट एक्सर्ट्स अ लार्जर प्रेशर एंड द स्मॉलर प्रेशर ऑन द एरिया एंड द स्मॉलर प्रेशर ऑन लार्जर एरिया दिस इज द रीजन व्हाई द नेल हैज पॉइंटेड टिप नाइव्स हैव शार्प एजेस एंड बिल्डिंग्स हैव वाइड फाउंडेशंस ओके नाउ यू गेट द आंसर व्हाई यू पुट प्रेशर ऑन दैट यू नो सरफेस द लार्जर सरफेस एरिया now let us suppose let us consider okay you are uh, sticking that poster on your uh, notice board and uh, you hold the pin upside down and you try to you know uh, put pressure on that pointed area and you try to insert that you know uh, uh, flat area in the board so what will happen this area pe डोंट इमेजिन दैट्स वेरी बैड राइट अगर ऐसा होगा तो पहले डॉक्टर के पास जाना पड़ेगा बिकॉज यू आर अप्लाइंग द प्रेशर ऑन स्मॉलर एरिया और जो सो दूर प्रेशर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी लेस एंड दैट्स वाई द पिन विल नॉट गो इन साइड द बोर्ड इंस्टेड इट विल गो इन साइड योर फिंगर बराबर सो दैट्स वाई वी अप्लाई द फोर्स ऑन लार्जर एरिया एंड Hence, the large pressure is applied on that smaller area. The pin ki jo tip hoti hai uspe. Now, pressure in fluids. All liquids and gases are fluids. A solid exerts pressure on surface due to its weight. Similarly, fluids have weight and they also exert pressure on the base and walls of the container which they are enclosed. Pressure exerted in any confined mass of fluid is transmitted undiminished in all directions. 
So first concept that we are going to learn is about buoyancy. So what is buoyancy? Have you ever had a swim in the pool and felt lighter? Have you ever drawn water from well and felt that the bucket of water is heavier when it is out of the water? Have you ever wondered why a ship make, made of iron and steel does not sink, sink in the seawater, but while the same amount of iron and steel in the form of sheet or in the form, form of block would sink? So these questions can be answered by taking buoyancy in consideration. Let us understand the meaning of buoyancy by doing an activity. So before we do that activity, I just want an answer from all of you. Have you tried any of this activity? So how many activities are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, so have you tried any of those activity? Aap mein se, uh, swimming kis -kis hai? How many of you know how to sw swim? Have you learned how to swim? No one? Okay. No one? No problem. Hai. Okay. Okay, Sonam knows. All right. No problem. Jabbi aapko mokha mile, please learn how to swim, but under you know guidance of your parents. Khud se ja ke nahi sikhna hai. Because humare sir ne bola tha hai, swimming sikh lo. Right? So don't do that. Okay. What about second activity? No, second activity ke jab hum baat karte hai, when we, you know, kuwe se hum paani nikalte hai bar. Right? So I don't know how many of you tried this. But when our bucket hai, with which we are taking drawing the water out, so when it is water, so it weights very less. Matlab, you, you can pull it with one hand also. Matlab, ek se bhi agar aap na usse, so it will go up. So it will go up. So it it becomes heavy. Have you tried this? Have you experienced this? या फिर घर में भी जो टैंक होता है सो so, टैंक में से जब आप बकेट भर के पानी निकालने की कोशिश करते हो सो so, जब तक वो पानी में है बकेट इट इज वेरी लाइट और जैसे ही वो थोड़ा सा ऊपर आता है इट्स वेरी हेवी हैव यू एक्सपीरियंस दैट एवर या ऑब्वियसली इफ नॉट ट्राई दिस ठीक है बट मेक श्योर दैट यू आर डूइंग इट सेफली राइट ओके सो Okay, so can you imagine this situation? Can you imagine this this situation? You might have seen uh, ships in the sea. Apne nadi mein ya fir samandar mein ships dekhe honge. Okay, mostly samandar mein. If not in real life, you might have seen it in the movies. Apne movies mein dekha ships. How many how many of you seen Pirates of Caribbean movie? Ship dekha hai na aapne. My, my question is, have you seen the ship? Sab ne dekha hai. Bhalai TV mein ho. And you believe that is true. Thik hai. Matlab, itna bada ship jo hai, that can uh, uh, float on the water. You agree with this? Oh, you went. Very nice. Very nice, the bench. Thik hai. So, which means it is real. Now, tell me, if I put a coin of ru one rupees, ek rupees ka jo coin hai, agar mein samandar mein dalta ho, so what do you think it will Will it sink or will it float? It will sink. Why is this happening? So then tell me whether the weight of that ship is the more or that coin is more. Just come it is more. Doesn't that make sense? Ship ka weight jata hai, obviously, right? But ship fir bhi ter, ter, ter jata hai and coin doob jata hai. Why does this happen? Let's take, you know, let's find out the explanation. Kyu aisa kyu hota hai? Okay. So in this activity, what you have to do is you have to take an empty bottle. You have to, you know, uh, close that bottle with the the you know we have 
एम्प्टी बॉटल्स ऑफ वाटर आपको वो क्लोज करनी है उसके ढक्कन से मेक श्योर दे इज नो एनी होल इन इट मतलब बॉटल जो है वो टूटी फूटी नहीं होनी चाहिए उसमें कुछ लीकेज नहीं होना चाहिए एंड वॉट यू है टेक अ बकेट फुल ऑफ वाटर एक बकेट लो बड़ा सा उसमें पूरा पानी भर दो राइट एंड ट्राई टू पुश दैट बॉटल इन द वाटर उस बॉटल को उस वाटर में पुश करने की कोशिश करो जैसे ही आप छोड़ते हो उस बॉटल को वॉट हैपन्स दैट बॉटल विल कम अप एंड स्टार्ट फ्लोटिंग राइट That bottle will start floating. ये भी क्यों होता है What is reason behind this? Let's find out the answers. The force due to the gravitational attraction of the earth attracts acts on the bottle in the downward direction. मतलब जो gravitation का force है वो bottle को नीचे खींचेगा So the bottle is pulled downwards. But वॉटर एग्जर्ट एन अपवर्ड फोर्स ऑन द बॉटल तो वॉटर क्या करता है उस बॉटल पे अपवर्ड फोर्स अप्लाई करता है बॉटल इज पुस्ट अपवर्ड वी हैव लर्न दैट द वेट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज द फोर्स ड्यू टू ग्रेविटेशन अट्रैक्शन ऑफ द अर्थ वेन द बॉटल इज इमर्स द अपवर्ड फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाई द वॉटर ऑन द बॉटल इज ग्रेटर देन इट्स वेट बॉटल का जो वेट है विच इज वेरी वेरी लाइट सो जो ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स है या फिर जो वेट या फिर यू नो यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस ना सो व्हिच इज मच लेसर देन द अपवर्ड फोर्स दैट इज अप्लाइड बाय द वाटर तो बॉटल का जो फोर्स है वो कम है इसके लिए जो वाटर का फोर्स है दैट विंस एंड इट पुशेस द वाटर बॉटल अप सो टू कीप द बॉटल कंप्लीटली इमर्स्ड द अपवर्ड फोर्स ऑन द बॉटल ड्यू टू वाटर मस्ट बी बैलेंस्ड अगर हमें उस बॉटल को डुबाना ही है सो व्हाट वी कैन डू we have two options first option is we can apply external force matlab jab hum daba rahe hain usko we are putting force on it right to tab wo bottle uh, rahegi pani ke andar but jaise hi hum external force that we are applying we take it out the bottle will come up that this is the first way. second way can be uh, koi bhi ek bhari cheez us bottle ko bandh do ya fir usme pani bhar do pani bhar ke bhi usko thoda sa कुछ चीज आपको बांधना पड़ेगा अदरवाइज इट विल स्टिल फ्लोट ठीक है तब जाके वो डूब जाएगी सो दिस कैन बी अचीव बाय एक्सटर्नली अप्लाइड फोर्स एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड्स व्हिच व्हिच इज व्हाट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट सो दिस फोर्स मस्ट एट लीस्ट बी इक्वल टू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अपवर्ड फोर्स एंड द वेट ऑफ द बॉटल सो द अपवर्ड फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाय द वाटर ऑन द बॉटल इज नोन एज अप थ्रस्ट और बॉयंट फोर्स इन फैक्ट all objects experience a force of buoyancy when they are immersed in a fluid the magnitude of this buoyancy force applies depends on the density of the fluid theek okay, so still we have not got the answer ki aisa kyu hota hai jo buoyant force ka jo magnitude hai wo depend karta hai density of fluid now why objects float or sink when placed on the surface of water This will answer our question ki, sikka kyu hai aur ship kyu hai. So let us do the following activity. तो यहाँ पे अगर आप देखोगे वी हैव टू टेक अकर वी हैव टू टेक अल आयरन नेल एंड वी हैव टू टेक अ कॉर्क और या फिर जो लकड़ी का ढक्कन होता है ना सो वी है यू कैन टेक द प्लास्टिक कॉर्क एज वेल अगर हम उसे उस बीकर में पानी भर के उसमें डाल देते हैं सो ऑब्वियसली द नेल विल सिंक डाउन एंड द फ्लोट द कॉर्क विल फ्लोट राइट तो ये क्यों होता है द क्लॉर्क द कॉर्क फ्लोट वाइल द नेल सिंक्स दिस हैपन्स बिकॉज द डिफरेंस ऑफ देयर डेंसिटीज तो डेंसिटी में अगर डिफरेंस है सो द डेंसिटी ऑफ सब्सटेंस इज डिफाइंड एज द मास पर यूनिट एरिया द डेंसिटी ऑफ कॉर्क इज लेस देन द डेंसिटी ऑफ द वॉटर दिस मीन्स दैट the of the of thrust of water on the cork is greater than the weight of the cork theek hai to first thing is density second thing is ki surface area kitna us uh, water ke sath mein touch ho raha hai so sink ki jab hum baat karte hain so we are not talking about the density but the 
सरफेस एरिया जो सिक्के का जो सरफेस एरिया वो बहुत ही छोटा है एंड इट विल इमीडिएटली सिंक डाउन बट जो शिप का जो सरफेस एरिया विच इज वेरी लॉन्ग वेरी लार्ज राइट सो दैट्स व्हाई इवन दो द वेट इज मोर बट स्टिल दैट विल द शिप विल नॉट सिंक डाउन बिकॉज जो प्रेशर उस पानी के ऊपर अप्लाई हो रहा है विच इज वो कम है हमने इस पहले सीखा ना कि जितना सरफेस एरिया ज्यादा रहेगा उतना जो प्रेशर है वो कम रहेगा ओके द डेंसिटी ऑफ एन आयरन एयर इज मोर देन दैट ऑफ डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर विच मीन्स दैट द अप थ्रस्ट ऑफ वाटर ऑन द आयरन एल इज लेस देन द वेट ऑफ द नेल सो इट सिंक्स देर फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ डेंसिटी लेस देन दैट ऑफ लिक्विड फ्लोट ऑन द लिक्विड the objects of density greater than that of liquid sinks in the liquid so again we have one arch uh, one exp uh, one topic to learn here archimedes principle so to learn this aapko ek rubber band lena hai or spring lena hai and you have to tie a uh, weight of same amount matlab ek do patthar lo which is exactly of same weight uska weight same hona chahiye एंड आपको और जो रबर बैंड है उसकी भी लेंथ सेम होनी चाहिए ऑलमोस्ट मतलब आइडेंटिकल ही होनी चाहिए तो दोनों को इस तरीके से आपको स्टोन uh, बांधना है यू हैव टू टाई अ स्टोन यू हैव टू पुट वन ऑफ देम इन द वाटर एंड वन ऑफ देम जस्ट कीप हैंगिंग आउट देर सो इसमें से कौन सा रबर बैंड विच रबर बैंड विल स्ट्रेच मोर एंड विच विल स्ट्रेच लेस जो पानी में डूबा है that will be stretching less why because for this stone there is no or no not that much upward force thoda bahut rahega because of atmosphere sphere and that right but it will be very less as compared to the force which is uh, exerted by the water so iske liye ye wala jo string hai wo thoda kam stretch hoga this will be stretch a bit more because the force exerted by water is more here and there is no upward force here okay so this is the activity so you will find that the elongation of the string or the reading of the balance decreases as as the stone is gradually lowered in the water however no further changes observed when the stone gets fully immersed in the water what do you infer from the decrease in the expansion of string or the reading of the string balance we know that the elongation produced in the string or the spring balances due to weight of the stone since the extension decreases once the stone is lowered in the water it means that some force acts on the stone in the upward direction as a result the net force on the string decreases and hence elongation also decreases as discussed earlier this upward force exerted by water is known as the force of buoyancy what is magnitude of buoyant force experienced by a body it is the same in all fluids or for given body do all bodies in given fluid experience the same buoyant force this all questions can be answered by archimedes principle which states when a body is immersed fully or partially in the fluid it experiences an upward force that is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it theek hai matlab koi body agar aap usko fluid mein immerse karte ho so when you immerse a body it will displace some fluid because of that body right so the buoyant force matlab jo force use upar dhakelta hai that will be equal to the weight of that displaced fluid समझ रहे हो तो सिक्के का अगर हम एग्जांपल लेते हैं तो सिक्के में वेंट इज बीइंग इमर्स्ड तो वो थोड़े से पानी को डिस्प्लेस uh, करेगा और उतना ही थोड़ा सा फोर्स उस पर अप्लाई होगा राइट सो विच विल नॉट बी इनफ टू कीप इट फ्लोट लेकिन जब हम शिप की बात करते हैं सो शिप इज यू नो शिप हैज वेरी लार्ज एरिया एंड इट विल डिस्प्लेस अ लॉट ऑफ फ्लूड so that much of buoyant force will act on the ship and it will help it to uh, you know uh, stay on top of the water 
Now you can explain why the further decrease in elongation of the string was not observed in this activity as the stone was immersed in the water. So this is about the uh, scientist Archimedes. Archimedes, uh, Archimedes was a Greek scientist. He discovered the principle subsequently named after him. After noticing that the water in the bathtub overflowed when he stepped into it. So when he the bathtub, so he saw that some water was displaced uh, or some water was spilling out of that water, uh, bathtub. So he ran through the streets shouting Eureka, which means I've got it. This knowledge helped him to determine the purity of the gold in the crown made for the king. His work in the field of geometry and mechanics made him famous. His understanding of levers, pulleys, wheel and axle helped the Greek army in its war with Roman army. Right. So the, this principle was uh, firstly found by or it was introduced by Archimedes. Right. So that's why the name of this principle is given as Archimedes' principle. So Archimedes' principle has uh, many applications. It is used in designing ships and submarines. Lactometers, which are used to determine the purity of sample of milk and hydrometers used uh, for determining density of liquids are based on this principle. Okay, so uh, today's homework for you, uh, we have some topic to cover here. But before we uh, call off the class, I just wanted to let you know your homework. What you will do is, you will try to find out the principle of lactometer. You know what is lactometer? Lactometer is a uh, device which is used to uh, determine the purity of milk. Okay, so how does that work? How Archimedes' principle is uh, working on it? Archimedes' principle. So you will try to search it on the YouTube. How okay? Uh, so there are four of you. Let me know how many of you find your answers on YouTube or Google when you don't get in you, you get any questions. question so how this happens, how that happens, and you go on YouTube or you go on Google and search. How many of you do that? I believe okay, Sonam does. I believe every one of you knows how to use YouTube and uh, Google, right? The bench also does it. does it, okay? So you have to go to YouTube today after this class and you have to search how lactometer, sorry, lactometer utilizes Archimedes' principle or how Archimedes' principle is used in lactometers, right? So, up charobi is videos ko dekho YouTube pe. And in the next class, I will give you a chance to explain it. I will not force anyone of you to explain it. But if you are enthusiastic about explaining to others, if you are if you want to talk in this class, I will surely give you a chance and you can you know talk about the thing that you have learned. Okay, so lactometer me Archimedes ka principle kis tarike se use hota hai and how it is used to find out purity of milk. Yapko search karna hai. Okay. Now relative density. This must be the last topic from this chapter, maybe. Yeah. So what is relative density? As you know, the density of a substance is defined as mass of a unit volume. The unit of density is kilogram per meter cube, kg per meter cube. The density of given substance under specified conditions remains the same. Therefore, the density of substance is one of its characteristic properties. It is different from different substances. For example, the density of gold is 19,300 uh, 19, <laughs> kilograms per meter square, while that of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. The density of given sample of substance can help us to determine its purity. It is often convenient to express density of substance in comparison so that with, with that of water, the relative density of substance is the ratio of density of that water. So relative density, 
to density of the substance with compared to or as compared to density of water substance ki density upar rahegi water ki density niche rahegi so that will be relative density for that substance not for water so since the relative density is the ratio of similar similar quantities it has no unit okay relative density ke liye koi unit nahi hai lekin question kya aa sakta hai ki find out the relative density of silver uh, sorry relative density of silver is 10.8 <laughs> the density of water is 10 to, uh, 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube what is the density of silver in si unit so relative density hame yahan pe di hai already the uh, relative density of water uh, silver yahan pe di hai that is 10.8 density of silver hame nahi pata hai density of water yahan pe di hai so you can put the value of this iski aap value rak put kar sakte ho iski aap value put kar sakte ho and yahan pe substance ki jagah pe hai silver to silver ki density aap find out kar sakte ho which is this <laughs> density of silver is 10.8 into 10 raised to the power 3 kg per meter cube so that's it about our chapter gravitation this is the summary of chapter that we have learned these, these are the questions uh, i i request all of you to you know go through this summary and those questions this will really help you in your exams okay so that's it for today from my side so do you have any questions uh, for today's class any questions no if not then please put no so that we can uh, close the class no questions okay okay i take your silences no so do the things that i have told you to find out the principle behind lactometers just read the summary of this chapter just go through the questions of this chapter right so uh, we will we'll see we will we'll, uh, have the next chapter in next class till then keep studying and take care bye bye you are uh, you are free to leave this class bye